Yes, it's time for another high-end mini PC review. This time, it's the GMK Tech Knuckbox K2, featuring AMD's Ryzen 7 7735HS. This 8-core processor features Radeon 680M graphics, some of the fastest you'll find, and gives these minis some real grunt. But before we continue, the ESUS Rec Experts screen recorder is an all-in-one solution for recording everything on your screen, whether it's online meetings, gameplay, tutorials, and more. Rec Expert supports 4K and 60fps in various video formats, and there are plenty of additional features, including a simple video editor to clean up your recording. Give it a test run with the link in the video description. The GMK Tech Knuckbox K2 comes in as low as 379 US dollars barebones or 467 USD pre-built, which places it firmly in the lower price territory for a mini with this CPU. I think this is a nice looking mini PC, and while I always get a huge stiffy every time I come across a metal chassis like this one, I do need to point out that the top and bottom are still plastic. Opening it is surprisingly nice and easy. No need to screw it for once. Just pop off the top lid and you'll have access to the memory and storage. Good times. This review sample GMK Tech sent me came with one stick of DDR5 memory. But happy to report that after showing them my graphics benchmark results with two sticks, they've decided that future units will have two sticks of memory included, which maximizes graphics performance. Always nice when feedback is taken on board. There's no cooling for the Lexa Gen 3 NVMe M.2 SSD, and underneath it is the M.2 Wi-Fi card. I don't have a Gen 4 NVMe spare to test, but the specs say the M.2 NVMe slot is a Gen 4, so that's likely the case. For accessories, there's a manual, power supply, HDMI cord, and monitor mount. For ports, there's an audio jack, USB 4, and dual USB 3 10 gigabit on the front. On the rear, dual HDMI 2.0, another USB 3 10 gigabit, a USB 2, and 2.5 gigabit LAN. Like nearly all minis released these days, this one comes with Windows 11 Pro, but I tried Ubuntu off a USB and it was all good. The GMK Tech Knuckbox K2 has direct competition from the Mini's Forum UM773 Lite, which costs about the same, and the B-Link Sur6 Pro, which is more. By default, the Knuckbox K2 is set to 35 watts instead of 45 in the BIOS, and there's a reason for that, as you'll soon see in the results. However, upping the power limit didn't affect the single core results, which is identical to the B-Link Sur6 Pro, and almost 4% slower than the Mini's Forum UM773. In multi-core, the K2 performed almost identically to the B-Link, but both are trailing the Mini's Forum. It's 15% behind at 35 watts, and 13% at 45 watts. But does that also translate into video encoding? Well, the K2 is only 1% behind. If you've watched my previous reviews, you might have seen that the Mini's Forum UM773 throttles graphics performance when it gets hot and the frame rate drops heavily. This didn't happen with the Beeling Sur6 Pro I tested, and happy to report it doesn't happen with the GMK Tech Knuckbox K2 either. Even when using it for hours on end, it still kept a steady frame rate in my Doom Eternal test. Which is important, as the 3D Mark benchmarks don't tell the full story. I'm also including the single channel memory result to show the huge drop in graphics when it's running with just one DDR5 stick. The DX11 score was surprisingly a bit higher than the competition, around 4%, and it's 55% faster than single channel. Huge. In DX12, they all performed pretty close to each other. Again, 55% faster with dual channel DDR5. There's an option to set memory speed in the BIOS, but it doesn't do anything, so no memory overclocking here. All right, let's start off with some eSports tests to see if there are any differences. In Valorant, it's all pretty much the same across the three minis. If you want to play League of Legends, at 1080p, you get a stupidly high frame rate, even at the max detail preset. With CSGO on high, well, you may want to tone down the graphics, as the frame rate doesn't hit the triple digits. This one's surprisingly demanding on the GPU. And same deal with Dota 2, actually. Drop the graphics preset down to get more frames. I 
am honored. In Forza Horizon 5, all three minis perform almost identically. Interestingly, the K2 had a slightly higher average frame rate in Elden Ring. But worse in Cyberpunk. God of War is similar across the board. Okay, let's see if there are any major differences in emulation. The UM773 got the best result in this one. And with PS3, there are slight variances. Nothing that raises eyebrows or any other part of the body. A full spec USB 4 port means you can connect the Thunderbolt eGPU and here's God of War running at 4K with an RTX 3070 using a Razer Core X eGPU. With the default wattage set in the BIOS, the K2 holds up OK and stays under 90C, but upping the wattage has the CPU go above that. For the small increase in multi-core performance, it's just not worth it as it also raises fan noise. These higher end minis aren't quiet, but the K2 again did well at the 35 watts setting. At 45 watts, the fan noise ramped up a lot under load. 45 watts is not recommended. The lack of cooling on the M.2 drive resulted in high temperatures when put under load. Interestingly, the Crystal Mark benchmark didn't show signs of thermal throttling, with write speeds still holding up again and again, even at these high temps. Idle Power Draw was on the higher end, but it's almost nothing, and Max Power Draw matched the B Link, while the Minis Forum peaked much higher. The thermal throttling kicking in at 45 watts on the K2 doesn't allow the CPU to pull much more power. Okay, so let's summarize. The GMK Tech Knockbox K2 has a metal chassis and looks nice. The graphics performance didn't drop at all. Price is competitive in line with the competition. However, the M.2 drive lacks cooling. There's no additional storage expansion, whether that's 2.5 inch SATA or another M.2. The Mini is best used at its default 35 watt mode, which brings down multi-core performance a bit. If I compare the GMK Tech Knuckbox K2 to its direct competitor, the Mini's Forum UM773 Lite, I would choose the GMK Tech as I prefer consistent performance, even if it's a bit less on the CPU side. And the B-Link I find to be the pricey premium option. But for a lower price mini with Radeon 680M graphics, I think the K2 is the best choice I've reviewed so far. That being said, I've provided you with the data and the decision is ultimately yours. So let me know your thoughts on it. Oh, and you can find the UM773 right here with an in-depth review. Cheers.